Hey everyone, today we're gonna do a makeup tutorial where I show you how to cover up the shame of what you actually look like with a much more socially palatable fake version of yourself. Mm. Primer is different from regular lotion in that it's called primer and not lotion. Mm. Smells like a scented garbage bag. Ooh, looks like my skin is already reacting to whatever chemicals are in this. You know what I need? Pink. Perfect. Next, and probably the most important step, is foundation. I want to put that on nice and thick. God forbid anybody knows that you have pores. It's a liquid patriarchy right there. Good. Looking good already, guys. This is a good start. I'm gonna be a princess in no time. Another very important step is concealer. Then you put on a concealer because, uh, you know, showing that you're tired from work or any reason whatsoever is completely unacceptable. And you just take this little um, butt pluggy looking thing and you just, you just dab, you dab it. When you make a makeup tutorial, you have to have one of these. Ooh. You need some loose powder to make sure that the layers that you've put on stick really good. I'll just kind of sprinkle it. <coughs> Try to. <coughs> That's good. Next, we want to rosy up those cheeks that we've just whitened. Makeup in the time of Elizabeth the first was a, a status symbol. It showed how affluent you are. Of course, it was really just like white lead paint that people were applying to their faces. So on top of looking really, really white, you could also have uh, stomach ulcers, hair loss, tremors, death. Uh, but hey, looking that white was totally worth it. Nice and rosy, nice and pink, nice and happy. Men like a nice smiley face after all. Now that we've done our basic face, we're gonna move on to our eyes. Today we're gonna use a nice sparkly pink so that people know that we're girls. Blend away the shame of knowing what you actually look like underneath. One trick to brighten your eyes and make yourself look more awake is to actually put some white liner. Heaven forbid you look like the haggard bog monster that you actually are. Up close it looks ridiculous, but on Instagram it looks amazing. Liquid liner is uh, particularly effective for women. It takes so damn long to apply that they hardly have any time left for brain activity, which we all know ages you. This one is actually waterproof, which is actually great for those days at work when you need to go cry in the bathroom stall at lunchtime because John has grabbed your ass again. Next, we apply our mascara, nice and thick. Oh, oh. That's okay. It's okay, we keep going. I forgot something very important. And when you're dressing to be a princess, you need your eyes in. So today we're going for blue because the Aryan look never goes out of style. Oh yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, my nose is already watering and everything. Okay, and just get that in then. Okay, we work through the pain. We work through the running nose. This is what we do, we're women. All right. If you find that you're tearing up, uh, a good trick is to just like hold your head back. Or, or one thing I like to do too is just to kind of like look down at the ground so that like the tears fall out of your eyes. All right. Uh, so once that's under control and you can pry your eyes open, you finish up the look with uh, some lipstick. Men like pink. It makes them think of blowjobs for some reason. Not sure why. And there you have it. Very easy, fresh princess look. Let's go play with some kids. Don't you wanna party with me?